Three epic reasons why you should visit Wollamai Surf Beach and one major reason why you shouldn't. I've been a complete beach bum for the last couple of months. This beach has been exactly what I needed to exfoliate the heartache that I've felt recently and to really start afresh. Okay, this is one of my all-time favorite places in the world. I have been coming to Wollamai Beach since I was 16. I've been a part of the Surf Life Saving Program for more than half my life and I never get sick of coming down here. Wollamai Surf Beach is 130 kilometers southeast of Melbourne, set in the Kulin Nation of the Bunurong people. The first reason why you should come to Wollamai Surf Beach is for the surf. The sand bar rip beach faces southwest, catching the tail end of the Roaring Forties open swell. If there is a wave on Phillip Island, this is where you will find it. The quality of waves to the surf culture has such significance that it is protected by the National Surfing Reserve. However, if surfing's not your thing, maybe an epic nature walk is. One of the main tourist attractions to Wollamai Surf Beach is for the Cape Wollamai Walk, where you can experience changing geographies, history and panoramic views. This is a two hour loop walk and will take you past the iconic pinnacles, the tallest point on Phillip Island and past the forgotten tidal quarry. And if you do the greater loop, which will take you along San Remo side, you'll go past one of the most notorious sand dunes on Phillip Island. And I'm speaking from experience here. If you're wanting to go on this walk, I suggest dawn and dusk are the best times to experience it. And this also brings me to the third reason why you should visit Wollamai Surf Beach. And it's for its wildlife. Cape Wollamai is protected by the Phillip Island parks as it is a sanctuary for coastal wildlife. From wallabies, ibises, blue tongues, echidnas, Aussie bees and Aussie snails, Although this side of the island doesn't get the little penguins that most come to Phillip Island to see, it does, however, have shearwaters, all commonly known as mutton birds. Although these are bumbling, funny looking creatures, one of the greatest spectacles on Phillip Island is to see the shearwaters come in in the evenings over summer. It is a surreal experience. If you wish to witness this magic, be sure to pack a torch and wait till it gets too dark to surf. And like magic, they'll start landing randomly and waddling around looking for their burrows. They also sound like aliens, which is kind of fun. Well, my surf beach may sound like a natural wonder, but it is dangerous. The number one reason why you might reconsider bringing loved ones here is because it is not for the faint-hearted. It is considered one of the most dangerous beaches in Victoria, and I have witnessed and been a part of many rescues and sadly some body retrievals. This beach has super strong rips and unforgiving waves. If you do want to come, please swim between the flags. And if lifeguards say that the beach is closed, please head around to Smith's Beach. Take your family to Smith's Beach. But not only is the surf dangerous, the crumbling cliffs around the Cape has also required rescue operations more than once in my time. And then there's the sand dune. More injuries have happened on that sand dune each year than anywhere else on Phillip Island. Once again, speaking from experience, what makes it so dangerous is its steepness and then its right angle finish when it hits the hard sand at the bottom. Actually? Yeah, broken bone in there. However, if you're willing to brave these dangers or have the smarts about you to avoid them, put Wollamai Surf Beach on your bucket list. You will not regret it. As Australians, we are a beach-going nation. This year, this new direction, I want to explore how our environment influences our culture and how our culture influences our environment. Currently at uh, Wollamai Surf Beach on Phillip Island, and this is where I'm really kicking off my journey into something new. So. The next video, I'm going to be exploring what the Four Parks Pass gets you on Phillip Island. Hmm. A 
think I'll also be exploring uh, why coffee and Melbourne go perfectly together and a few other cultural an anomalies. Because uh, I'll be your captain for this voyage through what it means to be Australian. <laughs> That's terrible.